freaking thing. that freaking thing again. You son of a... I want to wait till you know me better. Lick it up. Lick it up. Kentucky Cat, what's up? Oh, it's only right now, lick it. Man, I heard that today, and it was so much fun. Samuel, my brother, thank you, man. Willie D, it's going to take... What? Well, no, no, that's the wrong one. Going out like a soldier. Willie D, Connor Cruz, what's up, buddy? Yeah, very impressed. Comic... Bow Anton, Aaron Rupper, Ryan Jacob, Edgar Martinez, John Rice, Scott D, Samuel Williams, of course, Rodolfo, Johnny J, Aaron Tobin, what's up, buddy? TC, what's up down in, I hear it's really hot as hell down in Florida. We had a hot one today, man. Alejandro, Clint, what's up, Clint? Hey, look where you been, Clint? Brian Hume, wow, all the old TB crew is, I guess they see Ryobi, they want to come in and play, but guys, all joking and kidding aside, I was so pleasantly surprised, you know, I don't really follow Ryobi as much, probably as I should, um, and I really don't follow the 40 volt stuff, um, as a lot of you uh, probably a lot of you guys don't either, but um, I was super, somebody mentioned it. I didn't know, someone asked me when I did, the, when I posted the picture on Instagram, I took a picture of the new Ryobi 40 volt 500 CFM blower. Took a picture of it that I got it, excited. I'm going to do a review on it, blah, blah, blah. And that. So one of the comments, he goes, yeah, I'm still debating on getting it. I'll only get it if it has the updated charger. So I didn't think twice. I didn't even respond. I don't really respond as much on Instagram because there's so many comments on there. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. um, he responded back and he's like, uh, just FYI, it does. It comes with the updated charger. So I, I still didn't know what that was, what that meant. All right, maybe it'll charge your battery a little faster. Maybe it's like a supercharger, you know, not really sure. But I opened it up, the box yesterday. Again, it, the video, that's what I was doing yesterday, was filming that video. Uh, I got the Milwaukee Powerhead video just about done, obviously with the hedge trimmer attachment, which phenomenal there's no need to buy a, a, you know actually i don't have it here you know the milwaukee hedge trimmer i think it's 249 bucks don't waste your time buying that guys uh now i'm talking about the old you know the old fuel your normal hedge trimmer your milwaukee hedge trimmer handheld hedge trimmer you know not pull hedge trimmer but the new milwaukee power head you know the pole hedge trimmer it's so light and it does such a good job. Why get this one where you're kind of limited, right? With your handheld, when you can have the versatility of that pole, right? That pole hedge trimmer. And I, for just about the same price, guys. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. So anyway, I open up the box. Chip shot, hard knocks. Yeah, the quick lock system is... Uh, 
dumb proof. Is the Ryobi 40 volt hedge trimmer worth a hundred? Yeah, the new one. There's two versions, Kentucky Cat. Get the new version because you will get this. And you know, I did a sale on the new, and they discounted that. You got to remember, they did a sale like four days ago on all the old school, the old 40 volt outdoor power equipment, right? And this is how Home Depot gets you. They really, they, 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 see, we're not, that's like a screw. Screw. So they had these discounts on the old 40 volt OPE stuff, right? The next day, in store, they discounted all the brand new to the same exact price as the old OPE stuff. And remember, the new OPE stuff doesn't only get you their power source here. It gets you a battery upgrade. Now, the battery isn't upgraded, but if you notice, you know, the old hedge trimmer, I think, comes with a 2-amp hour battery. Now it comes with a 3-amp hour battery. Uh, the old blower comes with a 3-amp hour battery. The new one for $129, okay? Whole kit and caboodle, power source, 4-amp hour battery, which I'll show you, and the blower, $129. Uh, it comes with a four amp hour battery. Okay. But I put this back in here because I wanted to be neat. Let me. Um, but yeah, I want to save some of it for the review, so I won't go too nuts in depth with the battery. But I mean, nothing really, well, nothing really important anyway. All right. So, like I said, I opened up the box. Uh, I don't really know what the heck's going on with this OPE. 40 volt stuff here but this is a killer little power source now obviously it's litter by li litter obviously it's little right now you know There's nothing attached to it tiny awesome but guy for the people you know i talked about in the video you know we got all these new uh, i'm not gonna call I, I even though that's what it's called i feel very weird calling the new 40 volt 300 watt inverter generator 300 watt inverter generator that's coming out but we know about the ego nexus uh we know about the 1500 40 volt ryobi you know we know milwaukee's coming out with a power station of some sort and we know about the waltz power station that's been around for lo these many many years but you know i was talking about yesterday because I was over at my buddy's house, and we were filming. And I said, and he's a, he's a camper, and he's a hunter. But, you know, he made the point, wow, wait. Because he doesn't really know anything about this stuff. You know, he he's like, what, what, Ryobi? But I, I was telling him about it, what it does. And imagine going camping. Now, this is, you know... Right? That has to be right. Right? Right. Bloody darn right. I'm trying to... So, imagine going camping. Now, you know, you got the 12-volt Milwaukee, right? That's one of my favorite portable little chargers. Uh, you know, you got the Bosch 18-volt. You know, you got the rigid 18-volt power source. Whatever one you have. I don't know. Maybe you have the Milwaukee 18 volt power source, sor source, or the DeWalt 18 volt, or we'll call it 20 volt power source. But obviously, with those power sources, you know, you got a five amp hour battery, maybe a six. Not too many people got the, the 12 amp hour DeWalt flex volt battery because it's like 250 bucks. You know, some people might have the nine amp hour rigid or the nine amp hour. Little walk gay. Oh, thank you. Who did that? Ruben, my brother. Thank you very much, Ruben. We missed you last night. Missed you some basics. What's up? Chip shot. Cool. Okay. Carol. What's up, Carol? Hard knocks. Like to know. Might be enough to get him to make. You know, I was just talking about him, Chip shot. I hit him up probably a month ago on Instagram. 
And um, do you know why, Hard Knocks? I talked to him on Instagram, you know, every now and then, you know, he would hit me up, I'd hit him up. But I didn't talk to him for like five or six months. And um, yeah, I don't want to go too nuts. Hit me up after the video, Hard Knocks. All right, so, you know, you got, you know, again, nine amp hour rigid, nine amp hour Milwaukee or whatever. You know, they're only, you know, the, the nine amp hour, the nine amp hour Milwaukee here is 162 watt hours, okay? 162 watt hours. Pretty good. You know, you got the power source, source. <laughs> but imagine going camping with this sucker, you know? And again, you know, you hear me talk about these batteries. This is a four amp hour battery. Um... I shouldn't have put the damn thing on. But, <clears throat> you know, yeah. Well, this is only 144 watt hours. I don't know what the biggest, um, what's, what's the biggest, um, what's the biggest Ryobi 40 volt battery? Anybody know? Very nice. Yeah, this it's it's really great. You get this with every OPE kit. But like I said, you got the rigid, you got the Milwaukee five amp hour battery. You know, not too many people have the nines. We'll go with we'll go with the fives. So you got the five amp hour battery. I think it's like 90 watt hours, or you know what I'm saying. Maybe you got the four amp hour. But imagine going camp and you got a hundred and forty-four watt hour battery. Now this is the four. Now if you have the six. You know what I'm saying? It, and it's pretty much what makes it great. And what I'm trying to get at here is the versatility. Because this is also a, this is also your battery charger. Yes. What an awesome idea. So it charges your battery. Okay. You charge it. You hook it up. You stick this in the little hole there. Where's the hole? Right here. You stick her in there. All right, you got your two or three of these, you know, 40, you know, maybe you got like the hedge trimmer, the three amp hour battery. You got the four amp hour with your blower. Maybe you bought the lawn mower and you got two sixes. All right. You know, you bring two or three of your little, and you don't have, what's great about it is you don't have to go out and buy a power source. You know, that Milwaukee one is great, right? Probably my favorite, but you know, it's 40 bucks. Um, you know, the Milwaukee 18 volt, pretty cool, but it's 30 bucks and it doesn't charge batteries. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the 18 volt, uh, the DeWalt, the rigid, the Makita, the Bosch, they don't charge your battery also. So basically, like I said, you stick her in the hole here. You stick your little cord here right in the hole. So nice there. You plug her in, and you're charging your battery, right? You're going camping for the weekend, or what's great about this, you know, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, these batteries are pretty big. You're not going to use this as a portable, though you can if things get bad. But, you know, take off the cord. Now you got a power source, all right? So now you can charge this portable power. And they're giving it to you for free. I think it's genius because it's going to get people into, you know, the platform. It, it's a big, it's a small thing. And it's probably, I, I can't believe no one really thought of this before. Now you compare. Look at this thing. Now this is their rapid charger. Look at the size of this thing. All right. Look at this. I mean, no. Now you, you can get the Nexus. Don't get me wrong. It's a hundred bucks, but you know, this is cool. But remember they have a 300 watt. Um, yep. They have a 300 watt inverter generator coming out where, you know, you want to get the, the lawnmower where it comes with two sixes and the blower. Now you got three batteries and you know, you're ready to rock. Now I don't know how much that 1500 watt, inverter generator is going to be 
but if the if the ego is a thousand and it's going to be 1200 soon so the people where it's 999 if you're looking at it you should get it now um but if it's five i have a feeling it's going to be like 599 or something uh for 1500 watts you know you got your batteries already you could probably buy a bear tool maybe it's 499 bear tool or something um but they're really making this 40 volt uh line awesome i i think like like i said with with how cheap the batteries are that's what real i mean guys not for nothing yeah no doubt dustin checking in my man dustin from tan oh you guys are in florida yeah i'm glad thank you sms smms thanks buddy basic thanks for coming in brother and check out his channel he's doing a lot of good stuff he's on there like two in the morning and stuff sometimes man i i got up the other night to urinate and i had a lot of messages so i'm like yeah and I, I went on there and I, I hung out there for a couple minutes check out mr sun basics he's a good dude but if the inverter can be hooked up to a vehicle vsr well yeah that's a very good question that 300 watt one i don't know about that that would be great you know my whole thing is i'm i'm hoping that that 300 watt um ryobi 99 inverter generator can just take a charger because that's where the nexus sucked that's where it pissed me off i don't i don't really mean to say those words po'd me off um because it's you know what are you going to use with what are you going to do with that thing um but anyway you know getting back to the ryobi 40 volt platform four amp hour battery here okay four amp hour battery 144 watt hours 139 dollars okay so for the battery 139 bucks you know not bad not bad um milwaukee nine amp hour battery 162 watt hours i might have said 192 before my eyes are going 162 watt hours this battery 179 dollars okay 179 139 now we're getting to the ego battery all right again great batteries and i want to say something that's really big and i'll tell you now but who cares so when this when you get your battery, no matter I don't know if you buy the hedge trimmer, the blower, with this, I don't know if this is like a quick charger. It probably is not, but it took a hundred minutes to charge this battery out of the box. Okay, so a hundred minutes for a four amp hour battery. The ego. Now you got to have this special charger. The you know this uh, doesn't come with a lot of the kits. Comes with like the lawnmower, um, certain lawnmowers. To be honest with you, um, but it's their rapid charger. Uh, but this will charge a five amp hour battery in forty minutes. All right, so that's something to you know we gotta we gotta cover everything here. But now. If you're into Ego, you know that they came out with the new G3 batteries, right? This is the old version. I don't know. They don't call it anything. The big downer with this is there's no... You don't know what's going on with this battery. Because it's going to read green until it has 25% uh, left. When it has 25% left on it, it turns red. I'm pretty sure it's 25%. Might be 20. I don't know. But, you know, it can either have 24% or 2%. You know, but now the new G3 batteries, right? That's what they're calling them. G3 because it has a gauge on it. <laughs> but, and I think it has like six gauges or maybe it's five. I don't know. But the G3 battery for the five amp hours, $249. Okay. This battery is $219. Okay. And this is how many what hours do we have here this is 280 okay so much bigger now 40 volt 56 volt this i would probably say i don't know if they use resting watts or this is a true 40 volt platform i'm gonna have to do the calculations or if one of you guys know but anyway, so you got 280 watt hours 
right? For 250 bucks, because you're not going to be able to get that old battery anymore. Um, you're going to be able to get it now, but once they sell out, they're gone. So we'll say 250 for the five amp hour, 280 watt hours. 139, right? 144 watt hours, 140 bucks. Milwaukee, nine amp hour battery, 179 bucks, 162 watt hours. So, as you can see here, right? We did a video on this before, right? Where I had these huge batteries compared to an 18 volt battery, right? And this is where some people just don't get it. It really doesn't matter if it's 18 volt, 12 volt, to a degree, but. You got to remember, watt hours is kind of what is going to give you that, you know, the bigger the watt hours, the more runtime you're going to get. So even though this is the smallest battery, it's got better, it'll have better runtime. Now, it depends on the tool, but we're just going to say everything being equal. I should take this power source off. But, and... This is the five, and this is what most people have is the five, but $250 for a battery. That's why when you see, you know, I did some deals on some of these Ego kits um, this, you know, in the past couple weeks, and, you know, even the backpack blower, that's $199, I think, right now with the battery. The battery alone, man, is worth it if you're into Ego's platform, but size doesn't always matter. No matter what anybody, even if your wife says it to you, it doesn't always matter. So, but you could see the huge difference here. But my point being, you know, this is why I think Ego, I mean, Ryobi is eventually, I think, going to kind of pass up the Ego stuff. All right. Now, obviously, TTI, bigger company. They And I think they are the number one. I think they passed Ego up. I think Ryobi 40 volt is the number one out. Uh, I, I read an article on it not too long ago, but it don't really matter. But, you know, again, slapping this sucker onto a, a blower. Now, their blowers are great. They have, you know, this one, um, I was really impressed with this blower, guys, yesterday. The new 500 CFM um, 40 volt Ryobi blower. And you get a free power source. Um, and I, I, if you're into this already, the other charger, the old charger might be quicker than this. I don't know. I got to really look into that. And during the review of the blower, I'll see what I can find out. But, I mean, it took 100 minutes for a 4 amp hour battery. is isn't really that bad. But, you know, you have the blow. Now, again, you hear me always talk about Ego's blowers. Um, they're awesome. A lot of power. Great. And these batteries are great for lawnmowers. Uh, for, for lawnmowers, I don't think no one's going to touch Ego. Even though, you know, Ryobi's got these new, they got that new smart, what do they call it? Smart steering or something with their mower. Um, but again, you have like a weed whacker or, you know, a hedge trimmer. You know, their, their hedge trimmer. And, you know, you put one of these batteries on there. I mean, I'm going to weigh it. Just weigh them just to show you. Now. Again, you have to be honest here, obviously 280 watt hours. And you can say, well, you know what? You should use the two amp hour battery or the 2.5 amp hour battery. And that's that's true, it's gonna be lighter. But, you know, even the, the two amp hour battery by Ego, it's heavy, man. It's heavy, it's big. Um, but this, I'm telling you, with the blower, and, you know, that's, it was really not, obviously it was heavier than the Milwaukee with one of these 18 volt batteries on there. But I was so surprised on how well balanced that blower was. Um, and obviously you could do the same thing with these 40 volt batteries too, though. You could put a, you know, a two amp hour battery or a 2.5. Um, they're just so light and compact. Um, and, you know, with that Nexus thing, I mean, look at this thing. You know, if you had to, I mean, you could use this thing and maybe have your wife put it in her purse. You know what I'm saying? Hey, listen, put this in your freaking purse because I, I need to have my phone charged. You know what I'm saying? 
you can't do that with with this thing, man. Um, now again, probably one of the best batteries, you know, ultra cooling, um, longevity of the Ego batteries, really good. You know, I don't know what they can do. You know, um, but and it might not bother you. You know, take what I'm saying and throw it. But I think in the long run, having these batteries as compact as they are. And again, you know, 144 watt hour battery. So, I mean, it's not that big, but it's not that small either, you know. Um, but, you know, putting this battery on a hedge trimmer, putting it on a weed whacker, you know, it's going to be a lot more comfortable in the long run than using this battery, even if it's a two or 2.5 i don't even know if they make the two or that one of them they don't i don't think they make anymore you might still be able to get it but i think it's just a two a five and a 7.5 now somebody told me they're coming out with a 10 i mean again you can't put that thing up i unless their technology has changed now this being all said here we know text technology is changing pretty rapid so who knows down the road if they can kind of you know take some of the weight i mean this i mean all right so let's weigh this sucker but again the fact i i, I think it's a great what's the word i'm looking for it's a little who knows the word i'm looking for incentive there it is it's a little incentive to not only pay significantly less now again with the blowers, you're going to have, well, I mean, with this new 500 CFM one, all right, let me take, not only are you going to pay significantly less, all right, now I can just go off of 129 for the Ego blower, I think, e I mean, Ryobi's blower, Ego's cheapest blower, I believe, is 179, and that comes with a two amp hour battery, all right, so not only you're saving what is that 20 percent maybe 25 percent maybe a little bit more 30 percent with the ryobi all right they throw in this little portable you know power all right the kids you go camping they you got to keep their phones charged you got to keep their tablets charged you know you take a four you take a six amp hour battery with you for the weekend everybody's phones will be charged everyone's tablets will be charged um and it's free you don't have to spend $99 on the Nexus um, power source there. Now, again, you guys know I love Ego. And Ego actually sponsors me and sends me stuff. Ryobi has never sent me a freaking thing, and I'm saying this. That's just, you know, me being honest here. So, little incentive here. But, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me um, get my scale here. And, you know, like I said, this is 144, this is 280, right? So, you know, I know someone might say, well, actually, yeah, 280. See, that's why I think this might be a 36 volt. I mean, they're saying 40, but it might be 36. I don't know. Um, because this is 144. It really, you need two of these. And that's what somebody might say. Well, you know, I mean, that, that's really not the point. The point is the weight and the size. So, again, with the blower, with the hedge trimmer, with the weed whacker, you know, this is double, right? But I'm telling you guys, I, I picked up that weed whacker, and I did it again not too long ago because it was like $119. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm going to do a review on this. And I picked it up, man, with, with their two amp hour battery on it i'm like i don't know how anybody uses this thing um but yeah so yeah it's cool man you got one usb i would have liked two i mean i don't see why they couldn't have put two on this i mean it's a 40 volt freaking battery put two on there so you know you can have both your kids or maybe a phone and a tablet uh charging at the same time but look at this thing super compact and it's a charger but i find it hard to believe and i uh, that you know like i said it took 
a hundred, I think it was 102 minutes to charge this battery. So you're looking at an hour and a half, hour and 42 minutes out of the box. All right. So maybe there's a, I don't even know. They might have a rapid charger out already. I don't know. But this is the charger you get. And I think it's great. I mean, not the best run time, but I wouldn't even use this as a charger. Like if you have the old charger, I would just keep this as your power source, you know, down the road. And then you never need this thing at all. You never need, you can chuck this. If you have another charger, chuck this, and you got your power source here. But let me get the scale here. Yeah, I really like the blower, guys. Uh, someone's asking. You know, you heard me talk about it yesterday. Listen, the Milwaukee, I like a lot better. And I, I like it, I wouldn't say a lot better. The Milwaukee's better. I like the Milwaukee better. The Milwaukee blower better than the Ryobi. And it's mainly because... It's got a lot of power, and it's super light, right? That's really the only reason, and it's, I mean, super light. And it has enough power that it's, 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 it's does the job excellent. And, of course, you can use their battery. Now I can put it in a, you know, a, a, an impact drive or an impact wrench. So, but if you're not in Milwaukee's platform, you know, this the Ryobi is a much better deal. Ninety nine dollars for the Milwaukee blower, right? No charger, no battery. Um, so now it's ninety nine bucks. You got to buy. You know, you want a pretty big battery, right? You don't want. I mean, a five will give you like fifteen twenty minutes. Let's say. All right, say you get a five for seventy five bucks. So now you're at one seventy five. You got to buy a charger. I don't know. Add another. I mean, they're like seventy nine dollars for this, but maybe you can get one for fifty or forty. You know, you're at two hundred and twenty nine dollars. You're paying a hundred dollars more uh, for the Milwaukee, okay, than you would for the Ryobi. And power wise, you know, the Ryobi is a little bit more powerful than the Milwaukee. Don't get me wrong, but nothing crazy. And again the significant weight difference between the two the milwaukee's better so but for 129 i mean you can't go wrong and again you get the portable power source there all right so i just want to weigh and show you and that's kind of what i decided tonight just a little you know workshop uh what we used to call i can't remember what i used to even call them oh man Ryobi's better platform than freight. Yeah, you know, and that's the thing too. I don't know what the what's the Harbor Freight outdoor. They have an outdoor, uh, and I don't know what the warranty is on their outdoor. I, I forget what's the name of the company, guys. Yeah, I don't know if this actually. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, what's the name of the um, of the Harbor Freight? Bauer, no, they're outdoor, Dustin. They have an outdoor that they carry. I forget what it's called. All right, forget it. Someone thinks of it. But yeah, the Ryobi, I mean, what's it? The same price as the Harbor Freight? Maybe it's $20 more. You know, you got a big platform with some really good good stuff here, and there's no reason to get the Harbor Freight stuff. And I, I can't even, I, I can't believe anyone who would even defend. You know, listen, I'm not saying the Bauer stuff's bad. I'm not saying the Hercules stuff is bad. That's not the point. But, I mean, how can you defend buying that stuff with no warranty and being able to get brushless versions of the same Bauer Hercules tool for either the same price or $10, $20 more? I, I don't. How do you defend it? Oh, well, Milwaukee sucks. Well, the Makita sucks. I guess that's what you could say. Um, all right, let's weigh this, weigh this shebang, you know. All right, so you got the four amp hour battery. Let's just weigh, um, we'll put it, can it stand up? No. All right, put it on there. Oh, let's change it. Let's change it. Pounds, baby, pounds. All right, three pounds. 3.0. So you could say 3.1. We'll round her off. 3.1. All right, now here's your, whoa. All right, so five, almost 
what's that, 66% heavier. Now, let's be fair, though. Um, this is a 5-amp-hour battery. So, you know, I don't know what the 2.0 is. Um, but I would honestly say, going out on a limb, they're 2-amp-hour battery. Okay? Now, I wish I had one. And maybe someone knows how much it weighs. Now, if it comes back and it weighs less than this or the about the same, but I'm willing to say it's probably a pound, a pound and a half. I don't know. Maybe a pound lighter. But, you know, like I said, it's not really all about the weight. It's, it's really also about the, the size of them. You know, to have this big thing on your hedge trimmer or your, your blower or whatever... I just think eventually, um, Ryobi, and like I said, I, I think they are number one. Now, they're not the best. Ego's better in every tool. And they're great because they send over some stuff to me. But I think Ego, uh, Ryobi's doing a great job um, with this line. And I honest, if you watched me or like a, probably six weeks ago, you heard me saying, I don't know what's going on with Ryobi's 40 volt. I don't know. They might be, you know, ending it. You know, I mean... I heard this wasn't doing good, and their, their blower stinks. No one's buying their, their trimmer. So, obviously, they came out with all new stuff, but they're not giving up on it, and it's number one. So, um, what's up, Lenny, 2019? We got a lot of women in here tonight. I saw Carol and Ryan Jacob. What's up? Oh, it's called Portland. How much is the oh, Linux? There you go, EJM. It's called Lynx, Lynx. I don't know how much the Lynx blower is, and I don't know what the... Hey, what's up, Brad's Workshop? Decker, 150? It's 150, Dustin? No. If that's true, what's the warranty with the Lynx? Is it the same 90-day, or do they carry a little bit of a warranty? But, you know, I, I don't know. It is 150. So, you know, the, ba the, the Lynx blower is 150. It's $30 more than the Ryobi blower. Now, I don't know if it has 500 CFM. I don't know if it has 110 miles per hour. I don't know if they have, you know, inverter generators coming out links. But I know you're not getting a power source for free also. So, like I said, I don't know how you defend getting the links. But people are buying this stuff. There's our new Harbor Freight opening up down the road. Now, obviously... With the hand tools, that's where I think Harbor Freight is awesome. You know, the Pittsburghs and stuff like that. But, you know, just a short little video. And it was really about the port, the power source that maybe a lot of you don't know that you get with these new OPE tools. Um, but I figured I would mention and talk about uh, really the new 40-volt platform. Now, it's not new, but, you know, they got a new two new mowers. They got a new blower. They got a um, new hedge trimmer. They got a leaf vacuum, a 40-volt leaf vacuum. Uh, so they got some new stuff. And like I said, I was, I mean, it's pretty, pretty, I mean, it's really not much, I mean, a little bit bigger than your, you know, Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now, and this is a 9-amp-hour battery, so it has 18650s. You know, you get the 12-amp-hour battery, and, you know, it's longer and wider. I lost my 12-amp-hour battery, so there's going to be a big problem here. I'm going to have to just really rip this up. But, yeah, it's not that big, man. And I, I, think, it's, I think it's a little bit of an advantage um, with some other tools. With the lawnmowers, it don't matter, obviously, right? With the generator, it doesn't really matter. But with the smaller stuff, and again, you get a free portable power. And they made it, I mean, they're smart. They're keeping it compact. And I think that's what they're playing off of. A more lighter, compact platform. And 30% cheaper in certain, you know. But I would like to see Ego. Yeah, I think they will. Very good question. You know, we're going to see stuff, guys. You know, when, when, again, you heard me talk about it a couple times. Milwaukee at this NPS are supposed to be knocking the shoes off. Or 
They're supposed to be knocking the cover off the ball, let's just say. And we won our championship. I was completely shocked. Everybody was just, oh. But anyway, so, I mean, is uh, I for them to really say that and to be really just pumping this NPS 19 up, I don't think we're just going to see a new angle grinder, you know, or maybe we're going to see a new, you know, brushless multi-tool. They're going to be coming. I, I I don't know, guys. I don't know. But I think we're going to start seeing some really off the wall. Now, I don't think, uh, you know, I don't think they're coming out with a pressure washer. But I would not be surprised if we start seeing some really, you know. Now, we know a power station is coming out. Um, I have a feeling, you know, if the DeWalt is what, 1800 isn't it, what's it, 3,600 and 1,800? I don't know. But I think we're going to see that Milwaukee 18-volt power station be really close to what Ego's going to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So don't be surprised it's like a 2,000 to 3,000 watt. Now, remember, they say it's 3,000, this new Ego. It's really 2,000. Um, but... Link's warranty is 90 days. Charge time for the 40-volt battery is 60 minutes. Okay. I don't know what size battery you get. Um, but, yeah. And what's how, how much is it? So, you get a 90-day warranty. You get a three-year warranty with this. 60-minute um, runtime. Now, I don't know. I, again, I don't think this is... You know, they're calling it their new charger because it's a portable. But I, I'm sure the old one will charge... And I think they'll come out with a rapid charger if they they might already. I, I honestly don't know. Oh, someone, thank you. Wait, so who hit me up here? Kevin's Electrical Tool. Thank you, my brother. And check out Kevin, too. Kevin's um, on Instagram. Robert, what's up? Robert, I'm going to get that. I got to order two gift cards. Um, f Actually, no, not mm -hmm. two. I, I got to order one gift card for our Patreon winner last <laughs> night. And I'm going to put your order in, Robert Waters. Thank you so much. And um, thank you again, Kevin's Electrical Tool. And again, I, I appreciate all the donations. And I, it seems like I've been getting a lot of donations lately. And that's awesome. Please keep it under $5. Um, no reason to be giving any more than 5 bucks, And I greatly appreciate it. Especially because I got to buy all this Ryobi stuff and... You know, uh, Makita, they ain't want nothing to do with me and rigid. Get away. But, yeah, I know I've seen people giving $50, $100, $150. I can't believe someone would take that from somebody. I mean, unless you're a, you, hey, listen, I just hit the, I'll, all right, or listen, I, I'm a multimillionaire. I want to give you 150 Yeah, you're the best. But, man. That's crazy. Just dropping in. What's up, Tenzardo? 187. 187's back. 187 was around. He was back. 187 was one of my first guys who watched me. Then he disappeared for like a year. Like lost and found, missing in action. Then he came back like a year and a half later for like three months. And then he was gone again for a year. And it looks like, again, he's back. So real quick, guys, nothing really, you know, not intense and intensive information tonight. But I do want to let you know if you do, because I didn't know this. I did not know this. Maybe I should have known it. But with this new, um, and it's, you know, not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a little you know, power source. But I haven't seen one, honestly, that will charge you. Now, we know the 12-volt Milwaukee will charge your 12-volt battery, too. But... You know, a full-sized 40-volt battery charger and, uh, you know, a power source. Again, two USBs would have been the cat's meow. But, um, and again, really, really impressed with the blower. And you'll see that either tomorrow or Wednesday. I got to finish it up, kind of. And again, for $129 for a complete package. Again, not the best blower. And I'm going to even say... You know, the Ego, definitely a little bit more powerful. But really, I was a little shocked. 
I don't know, man. It's close. Mm-hmm. With the with that one. And I'm comparing it to that five hundred and seventy five. I'll tell you that five hundred and seventy five CFM ego blower without that turbo button. I'm telling you, it feels like when I use the five hundred and thirty CFM ego. When I hit the turbo, it seems like it's more powerful than the five seventy five. But you know, the Milwaukee is better because it's lighter and you know, just about the same amount of power. You got two little speeds. And the ego is more powerful. So it's right in the middle. But when you add everything up, you know what I'm saying? It's not much heavier than the Milwaukee. And it's not that much less powerful than the ego. And it is substantially less than both. And you get a little power source. So for the homeowner, you should really look at the Ryobi stuff. Um, yeah, take a look. I know the Pete Pistachio, the best. Her name is Candy. Alaska, cool. Ken H, what's up, buddy? Yes, I am going to watch. Did you hear about that today, guys? Well, man, I'm probably not. For the people in the New York, New Jersey metropolitan area, sports radio is kind of the fan. You know, Boomer Siason. Craig Carton just went to jail for 42 months. He was the biggest sports broadcaster in this 30 million New York metropolitan area. But anyway, they, they were talking this morning about Texas A&M. If you put $1,500, I don't know why they came with 1500 They should have said 1000 But if you put $1,500 on Texas A&M, you could win $300,000 tonight. Three. Now, what they were talking about is that this kind you know sports gambling is legal in New Jersey. So what FanDuel is doing, they will let you they'll hedge it. So instead of so you got the ticket, right? Now it's really worth nothing right now. You know, Texas A&M has to win for you to get $300,000. Right now you're down 1500 bucks. But at FanDuel, you go in with your ticket no matter what it is. Now it doesn't have to be 1500, you know. Say you put five hundred dollars on Texas A and M, so whatever that would pay out, probably like what? Well, what's a third of three hundred grand? Half is one fifth, so seventy five thousand dollars. All right, so we'll just use the fifteen hundred because that's what they were using on the radio, right? You got your fifteen hundred dollar dollar ticket. It's worth three hundred grand if Texas A and M wins, but if you don't have the Gahonies. To endure probably two hours of just life altering. Now, of course, Uncle Sam is probably going to take half of it. But you go in with your $1,500 ticket. You give it to the lady at the desk. She'll give you $150K. And you didn't even win it. You didn't even win. Now, of course, people who gamble always hedge their bets. But... It's funny now that FanDuel's like, listen, I don't want to lose 300 grand. Just give this dude 150. Here, take it. Take it. No, you, to, who? Take it. Take, take. Yeah. All right, people. If Texas, yes. So I don't know about you. I would take, what do you guys think here, guys? I got 82 people. I would take the 150, no doubt. Give me 150 G. Now, with my luck, of course, Texas would win by 25 freaking points. And I'd probably be kicking the dog right in the teeth, in the face. I don't have a dog. And I wouldn't touch Blackberry. She's a girl. So. What's up there, Steven? Shaka. I thought we lost Shaka. We were missing Shaka last night on Patreon, but he came through. Virginia wins. Yeah, I think so too. That's why I would definitely take. Now I don't. That seems weird. I guess. Yeah, I think it works out for you too because I don't know what the money line. Well, I guess that's all props. It doesn't matter anyway. So yeah. Yeah, we'll see, man. Kestig, scared money is dead money. Spoken like a true gambler, Kestigs. All right, guys, let me get out of here. 
I call my dog Slipper. It spends a lot of time on my feet. Matt Day. Oh, low battery. There's Shaka. Matt Day was the proposition bet before. No, I don't think so. I don't know. What was Texas um, going in? Texas. Uh, no, I don't think it was. No, not before the season. I don't think so. I think it was before the tournament. I think they were like 200 to 1 to win the tournament. So $1,500. I guess comes out to 300 I could be wrong, though. I don't know. TH19, I had Auburn on Saturday. Oh, that would have been sweet. I bet you they were even a bigger underdog. I mean, ever since, what was it, two years ago? When was it? When did the 16 seed beat Virginia? Was that last year or two years ago? Once that happened, and I knew it was going to happen sooner or later, and I actually predicted it like three years ago. I said, within the next five years, a number 16 seed will beat a one seed, and it happened, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. String bean! Texas did... Yeah, that's crazy, man. You get a hot... Man, and Auburn, I tell you, I just can't believe it with those players that they got as far as they did. Basketball is... I tell you, you know, the thing I don't like about bat... Now, basketball in general, and I think that's why what makes baseball such a great game. Um, and like I said, I, I played baseball up until 22 two years old but you know basketball and football you know the 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 refs are so they de determine so much of the game you know what i'm saying like a, a holding call that wasn't called. we all saw what happened to the saints in that game and the same thing with basketball you know oh that was a foul that wasn't a foul oh you know he's been doing that all night that was a that's a charge every time he's taken three steps you can only take two like there's a lot of with baseball you know you could say uh balls and strikes but you know that might that's there's no such thing i mean if it's called a strike it's pretty much right there and obviously i think that might be changing soon but you know you're very dependent on referees and and officials and I'll tell you, especially betting, I would never bet on basketball. The lot you can be up. I'll tell you, I remember one game real quick. And this was, you know, 10, 10 years ago. When um I don't know, I I actually remember it was a college game and the spread was 12 and a half. All right. The spread was 12 and a half. 12 and a half the spread was. Right? There was three minutes left. The team that we all, me, all my friends, it was like six of us, man. We were watching a game. Three minutes left, we shut it. They were up by 30 points with three minutes to go. 30 points with three minutes to go. The spread was 12 and a half. We said that was great. Now we hit the bar. We, you know, we watched it until like 930. The game was just about, oh, we couldn't wait. Let's go drinking. We all went out drinking, met the broads, had a great uh, two and a three in the morning. So we're on the way home and we're all like, yeah, what, a, you know, I don't forget, but hey, man, you did great. Not only did you get some, hmm, you made $700. And, and Tim, you did great, man. Yeah, you were drinking, you threw up. But you won a thousand dollars tonight on Duke. It was great, and, and Charlie and and Mike. We all, so the dudes, you know, on his cell phone there, and he started. All of a sudden, we heard a a scream, mm -hmm. a terrible, mm -hmm. horrible. It was like um, I don't know. It was like some kind of animal getting just completely punched like right in the mm. and we're like oh, what the and we got really mad at him but he was like a big dude too like so we really couldn't go too crazy so we're like what the you know we got kind of got mad at him like what dude you know i'm hung over man i'm trying to drive him we'll scrap we lost he starts yelling we lost we lost we, we had like three thousand between five of us we put like twenty five hundred or three grand down and we lost by a, you know, it was, like I said, up 30. And I think it was 31 points with three minutes to go. They started hitting threes. They took their, the, I don't know who, I can't remember who it was. They, they, they took half their starters out, you know,
because they're up by 30. All of a sudden, these guys, I mean, they must have hit. I don't, we couldn't, I don't even know. I never looked, but obviously, there must have been some major three pointers going on. But the spread was 12 and a half. They lost. They only won by 12, by a half a point, of course. So I always buy the hook. Always buy the hook. All right, people. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I honestly pay attention. Oh, boy. Auburn, yes. No bueno. Look at the bright side of the state. Like my, yes. Yeah, it's probably going to be all over soon, man. A lot of, I know New Jersey's kicking butt with it, with the sports betting there, but. Yes, thank you. That was pretty good. All right. Thank you, Chip Shot. Everybody, thank you for coming in. Thank you, 187. Again, pretty cool little feature you get with your Ryobi Outdoor Power Equipment. Again, 129. It's going to go back up to 159. Now, again, Ryobi Days hasn't even hit yet, but. I don't, if you're kind of holding out to save 10 bucks, like I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to go any lower than 129. Maybe it hits 119, but you know, now if it goes to 99 bucks, which I don't see how that's possible, it won't because the battery alone, like I said, is 140 bucks. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, and the reason why I'm doing a video too, and of course, you know, you get a indicator with your Ryobi battery. You don't even get it with the with the Ego. But the reason why I did the video too is because I've never seen one of these batteries. We never really reviewed any of this stuff. We never looked at one. And again, pretty surprised on how light they are and compact. Again, like I said, not that much smaller than the... You know, I got the power source on here. Let's take her off the boat. You know, I kind of showed you here. And remember, the, the 12 amp hour battery, I'm telling you, it's really close. Because it's, you know, got the bigger cells in them. And they're wider. I'll tell you. Hmm. I wish I had a 12. I can't find her. But I will. Thank you again, everybody. Yes, Ryobi Days, April. Th all right. April 33rd. Whoa. Thank you. Remember, Candy with an eye. Pete, put her number down. All right, guys. God bless you. Say your prayers.